everyone, I'm Amanda Wong from City Lights on Novus TV. I'm at the Malcolm Bowl in Stanley Park for Theatre in the Stars 2014 summer season. This year's lineup includes Shrek and Legally Blonde the Musicals. I get an exclusive chat with two of the main actors. This summer, two of the world's funniest musicals, live under the stars, Shrek the Musical, and back by popular demand, Legally Blonde. I have Ken Overby beside me, and he's been performing for over 20 years. Now, Ken, tell me what your involvement with Theatre and the Stars is. Uh, well, this year they're doing two shows, uh, Legally Blonde and Shrek, and I'm in Shrek, and I'm playing the role of the donkey. I'm lucky to be in this production because I've got a great cast to work with, and uh, everyone should come out and see it as, as quickly as they possibly can. <laughs> yes. So tell me, what does the average day for a performer look like here? For me, I know... Um, on a show day, uh, I make sure I go to the gym. I have to do that because it's a very physical part. And um, get your vocals in shape so that you can do it uh, vocally and, and uh, get up with your stamina for your voice as well. For sure, and I have to ask, what does your costume look like? It's big. Um, <laughs> it's a big gray uh, donkey suit. So the only thing exposed actually is my face and that's painted on, um, but there's like a cutout and I've got ears that pop up and the whole thing, it's, it's quite well done. So what are the challenges with working in an outdoor stage like this one? Rain, we had rain last night, so we kind of lost half our uh, stage space and everyone adjusted and they were troopers and there were over 300 people watching last night in the rain and it rained from I think two o'clock on so they knew it was gonna rain and they still showed up and uh, that just really makes you give more because if they can sit in a, in a rain poncho by uh, Theatre Under the Stars and watch you then you really need to uh, <laughs> give them all that you've got going, yes. What makes this production of Shrek better than other productions of Shrek? Theater Under Stars tries to um, add union members, equity members, professionals in with uh, people just coming into the arts, people graduating from theater school, young um, go-getter high schoolers who are looking for a career in the arts. A good talent pool, and uh, I don't think anyone really else does that. Also, the idea that you've got two shows going on at the same place, so if someone sees Shrek and likes it, and they can go, you know what, let's try that Legally Blonde and see how that, that comes out for us. So beside me here, I have Jocelyn Gautier. Jocelyn plays the role of Elle Woods in Legally Blonde the Musical. Tell me about your role. Like, what is, what, how long have you been preparing for this? Um, well, I was in the show last year. I was in the ensemble and uh, was the Elle Woods understudy last year. So this year I've been fortunate enough to be given the opportunity to do the lead. And I've been ready for a while, I guess. But I, it does take a lot of preparation. I mean, it's, it's a monster show. It's really hard from all angles and not just for myself. It's for the um, ensemble and for the crew members. I mean, it's, it's a huge production but it's it's a lot of fun and what are your biggest challenges with being L she's a very iconic character so you don't want to um, mess with that too much you know you want to keep her who people remember her as but you also want to make her your own so I guess I would say that's the biggest challenge aside from the the singing and dancing and minute and a half co crazy costume changes that happen like six times so we're wanting to know what are the differences between the movie version played by Reese Witherspoon and your version here the musical follows the story of the movie the story Line. However, the musical is it's completely original music. There's huge dance numbers in it and they've kind of taken it and ramped it up about tenfold. All the characters really come to life and the, the writers have done an excellent job. The music is excellently written. The uh, script is very smart and it's definitely a fun evening that the whole family will enjoy. This year's show season ends on August 23rd. To see Ken and Jocelyn live in action, visit www.tuts. This is Amanda Wong for City Lights on Novus TV.